live broadcast. If you're a septic tank owner, then this broadcast is very, very important because I'm going to show you how to beat the 2020 septic tank regulations coming into force. Now, if you own a septic tank um, and you've heard about these new rules and regulations and you're cross and you're angry or maybe you're unfazed by it all, this is still very important to you because I'm going to show you a really simple and easy way, right, in which you can pass the 2020 regulations with flying colours very simply, very easily. So this is why I do these broadcasts. All right. So let me um, let me get my ball dropper and have a look at this. OK, so I'm going to break this down and make it really, really easy today. Right. I'm going to make it really, really easy. So basically what is happening is this right on the first of. In fact, let me rub that off a bit more. My board rubber isn't working, so let me get my cloth here and do it, do it like this. So let me break this down really simply for you, right? So after the 1st of Jan, right, 2020, there's one major thing. Can you see that on there? There's one big thing that's going to happen, right? The government inspectors are going to come around and do a site inspection. All right. So if you're a septic tank owner, every septic tank owner in the country will get a visit from a government inspector. OK, it's as simple as that. And the government inspector will carry out a site inspection on your septic tank okay so that's basically in a nutshell can you see that all right on there that's basically what's going to happen after the first of january 2020 now you can just sit on your laurels and do nothing which is fine you know you don't have to do anything about it some people are doing something about it right but there's going to be two outcomes right this the government inspectors will come around they'll ask you questions about your septic tank and then they'll charge you 450 quid so they can do a site inspection, right? Now, many septic tanks will pass, right? And many septic tanks will fail a site inspection. It's been estimated that 60 to 70% of septic tanks will fail, okay? So, the whole reason I've made this broadcast is because I want to show you how you can pass the septic tank inspections without having to fork out number one, 450 quid. So let me just explain to you, first of all, what a fail means. If your septic tank fails, then you'll be obliged. I was going to use the word forced, but I thought, well, maybe it's a bit too strong, but you'll be um, forced, <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna use that word because well, they'll basically get you to decommission your septic tank and put a cord or altar on you, right? So if your septic tank fails, right? You're basically, <laughs> got two options, right? Option number one, right? You can replace, your septic tank all right now you can replace it with another septic tank and soak away you could relocate your septic tank and soak away so when i say forced what do i mean by that well if your septic tank fails just like an mot on a car fails you basically have got a couple of options you can pay another 450 quid and have a retest or, as I said, you can replace your septic tank and your soak away with what they call an electro, uh, an electro, an electric biodigester. Now, this will cost you anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand quid. So, where am I coming up with these figures? Ten to fifteen thousand quid. Well, 
already in the run up to the 1st of January 2020, I'm getting people ringing me up every day and they're saying, you know, um, I'm trying to sell the house at the moment, but the solicitor, the people who are buying the house, you know, they're not happy with our septic tank. And so they're trying to reduce the price by 10, 15 grand. So, you know, it's happening already. And this is like for been three months, two or three months before you know, the first jam comes into force. So you can replace your septic tank and you soak away with a biodigester. That'll cost 10, 15 grand. Or if you're selling your house, you can reduce the house price by that. You can relocate your septic tank to somewhere else in the garden. Um, typically, if you've got the space, this will cost you anywhere from, say, six to 9,000 quid. Now, there's many companies capitalizing on this because they know um, the septic tank rules and regulations are coming into force. The general binding rules is what they're officially called. They're taking advantage of people, right? And so the bottom line is this, right? If your septic tank fails, you'll have a court order forcing you to either replace your septic tank or relocate it. So how can you get your septic tank to pass, right? So so that's the bad, right? So let's give you the good, right? So let's say you've got an onion-shaped septic tank, right? Let's say you've put an onion-shaped septic tank in a fiberglass one. Let's say your septic tank that you put in is two years old. Let's say it's 10 years old. Let's say it's made out of brick uh, or breeze block, or maybe it's made out of concrete, right? What these actual rules and regulations are called, they're called retrospective. That's a C, by the way. Retrospective septic tank approval. That's actually the proper name. And it basically means this. Right? Any septic tank that's, that was installed before 2015 must now um, have approval. And as I said, you'll either fail or you'll pass. So what are they actually looking for when they come round to do a septic tank inspection well basically they want to know this they want to know that your septic tank conforms to this that is what the entire septic tank regulations hinge on these two certifications, right? So if you've got a septic tank, it must conform to this regulation here. There's no ifs, there's no buts, there's no other way around it, all right? So when they come around, they'll say, oh, have you got an EN12566-1 certificate? Many people will say, uh, I'll have a look through my septic tank emptying receipts to see if we've got one. Of course, it's not going to be there. It's an actual certification that comes with your septic tank. So if your septic tank is made from bricks, concrete, whatever, you know, it's almost going to be impossible to bring your septic tank up to scratch. So they'll get you to put a new septic tank in that comes with that certificate, or they'll make you put one of these bio, bio digesters in, right? And that comes with a certification called an EM12566-3. Now, in some cases, right, they will allow you your septic tank, your new septic tank, to have that certification. In many cases, let's say it's um, by watercourse, by a stream, by a brook or a ditch or something like that, they will only allow you to put a system in, right, that conforms to the EN12566-3, so that this one will work in all cases, right? So, how can you, if they come around and do a site inspection, make sure your tank conforms to this new legislation and has this particular certification? Well, as I said, you can re relocate, your septic tank and soak away, put a whole new one in, put a new soak away in, and then that will have an EN12566-1 certification. But as I said, that is good. That option there, option number one, right? Option number one, right? 
if I put number one there, that option, as I said, is going to cost you anywhere from six to nine thousand quid to do. Option number two, you can put one of those bio digesters in. Very, very good option. These are good options, by the way. I'm not dissing it. I'm not demonizing these options, right? You can go for option number two and put an EM1566-3 bio digester in. Very, very good. They'll accept that. But the downside is it will cost you anywhere from 10 to 15,000 quid to do. And if you want to go and spend anywhere from six to nine or 10 to 15,000 quid, to get the certification so that your septic tank will pass, then very, very good. They're, they're viable options. But for me, <laughs> I've been in this business now for 20 years. There's option three, right? Can you still see that on the option three? All right. In fact, and this for me is why I love doing these broadcasts. This is why I love educating people. This is why I try and help people because option three for me May not be for you, but for me, it's the best option, right? Not only do you get your EN12566-3, which guarantees you, right, 100% pass rate, right, right? It will only cost you, get this now, it's not going to cost you 6,000. It's not going to cost you 9,000. It's not going to cost you 10 grand. not going to cost you 15 grand. It will cost you 2,999. So what can you do to your septic tank? Regardless, say you've got a septic tank that's 10 years old, 30 years old, 50 years old. What can you do, right, to get your EN12566-3 certification, right, for a fraction of the price everything else costs? Well, you just need an ecosystem now you're thinking what the heck is an ecosystem an ecosystem is a septic tank converter I said it's as simple as that septic tank converter so basically you dig a small hole you put this little how much room have we got there you put this little black box in like that right that's what it looks like and it sits next to your septic tank and it will convert your septic tank right into a fully legal government approved system right that not only will get a hundred percent pass but it'll give you this certification the en12566-3 certification right which will make your septic tank fully legal and you and it as i said you won't have to spend six grand nine grand ten grand fifteen grand to do it just for 2999 so if that hasn't helped you i don't know what you see so that's not only my tip of the day or the week that's my tip of the year so if you want your septic tank to become 2020 compliant and just get yourself an ecosystem septic tank converter now if you're wondering where you can see uh, the septic tank converters, you've got two options, right? You can just go to septic tank TV there, or you can just go on to Google and type in www.septictank.co.uk, and you'll find the septic tank converters there septic tank converter and they're, they're aptly named you know because that's exactly what they are there's there's septic tank converters that will convert your septic tank it will give you that 100 percent pass rate which you want um from the council and from the government and they'll save you thousands and thousands of pounds so there you go that's my tip for the year of 2020 and 2019 go to septic tank go to uk um have a look at uh the septic tank converter there i've done a video which you can see and uh, learn more about it so i've got loads of information but there you go at least you know i'm giving you um, some information here that you can go and research and mull over and um, so there you go so i hope that's helped you thank you very much for watching this live broadcast you take care and i'll speak to you soon